Welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make this compressed air cannon capable of shooting water, nail darts, marbles, and pretty much anything you can think of. This compressed air cannon is very powerful and under ideal circumstances is lethal. The body of this air cannon is made from PVC pipe and is compressed with a bike pump. This entire project will cost you less than $10. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a half inch ball valve two two-foot sections of half-inch PVC pipe and some PVC cement. You'll also need a car tire valve. You could also use a bicycle tire valve, although that wouldn't be as strong as this car tire valve that I have. You'll also need a half-inch end cap that you can put your tire valve through. Because the hole that I made was so tight, I didn't have to use any glue, but you could use super glue to make an airtight fit if you don't have one yet. After that, you'll have to glue your two foot section of half inch PVC to the end cap, and also the end of that pipe to your half inch ball valve. After the PVC cement has dried, we can start right away. The other section of pipe will be used as our barrel. You can see how the compression chamber looks. The barrel simply is hard pressed into the compression chamber and we're ready to fire. All you have to do is twist the valve and the gun fires automatically. The shots that come out of this cannon can be very powerful. As you can see, these nail darts are sticking in quite far, and I put some tape around the base of the dart so that we can see how far it went in. So from there to there is how far it went in. So right at two and a half centimeters uh, and just about an inch yeah so a solid inch that was uh, 20 pumps I think from that small pump right there and that's all it took it's pretty impressive one of my favorite uses for this gun is as a water blaster I also filled the barrel with about a handful of airsoft pellets, and as you can see it makes a nice shotgun. Almost all these shots were at 45 psi. This shot right here was at 80 psi. I'm not quite sure how high I could push the pressure on this gun, but it seems to be holding up to everything I put to it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, you'll probably like a lot of my other videos, and I'm constantly adding to my collection. If you have any suggestions for further projects, please let me know in the comments.